Hi, first grade. Today you get to watch me for both writing and math. How exciting. We are actually starting a brand new unit in writing. So that's why I wanted to come on here and make a video for you so that you could start to understand what we're working towards in this new unit. We are going to be writing fiction stories. Now, we have already done informational writing where you share everything you know about a topic. We did how-to writing where you had to teach someone step-by-step step how to do something. We did persuasive writing. That was when you were trying to get someone else to do something or give you something. We've written personal narratives. Those are stories from our own lives, things that really did happen. Now we get to make up stories and that can be the most challenging kind of writing because there are so many different directions you can take a fiction story. Your main character could be anyone or anything you want it to be. You can make up whatever events you want to happen in a story. That's why we're doing this writing unit so late in the school year because it actually is really difficult to come up with all of those ideas and then put them in order so that you have a story that flows from beginning to end. So today, you are actually not going to be doing any writing you are going to be preparing to do some fiction writing. We read the book Otis a long time ago. I wish I had the actual book to show you right here, but I don't because it's at school. So just imagine that it's here with me. We loved all of the different Otis stories that we read. There was Otis and the puppy, Otis is Christmas, Otis and the Scarecrow, Otis and the Tornado. There are lots of Otis books. They're all created by a man named Lauren Long. He actually is the author and the illustrator for the Otis books. So um, today I'm going to have you watch a couple of videos from Lauren Long that talk about um, that, where you get to meet him and you get to find out how did he come up with this character, Otis? Why does he get along with Otis so well? What kind of ideas does he have about who Otis is? Because before Lauren could just sit down and write a story, he had to develop this character in his mind first. He had to figure out what kind of character this little tractor would be. He had to figure out what this tractor would look like. He had to figure out how this tractor would interact with other animals and, and machinery on the farm. He had to do so much thinking before he could just sit down and start writing about Otis. So I'm going to have you watch two videos from Lauren Long and the main question I want you to focus on today is how did Lauren Long choose to create Otis? Like what was his inspiration? What made him want to draw this little tractor and give him the personality that he did? So like I said, you're not actually going to be writing today you are going to be watching this other author, Lauren Long, talk about his main character. And then you get to start thinking about what main character you might want to put in a story that you will be creating. So have fun watching those videos and I will see you tomorrow for another writing lesson.